Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. This is so exciting. Yep, we have it in studio. Uh, we've got a beer release uh, this Saturday um, at Hourglass in yes. Longwood. And it's Scootin' and Tootin' Pale Ale. And uh, the can is awesome. Yeah, yeah. This is the thanks we, to Eric Pabone. We have a couple of cans in here right now that we are looking at. This is awesome. And uh, yeah, man, uh, beer drops at five, right? Yes, um, beer drops at five. We've got Curtis Earth doing trivia at six thirty. Yep. Uh, we're telling everybody to sign up around five thirty. Uh, teams up to six people, yeah. but it could be less. And the trivia is all going to be Daniel themed since it is be crazy. And a lot of questions about depression. <laughs> well, uh, I sent him a list uh, about severe <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> I got a side effects. Of side effects. Of medication that you're on. Yeah, no, the, the, it, a lot of a lot of like uh, does Lexa, Lexapro affect no. your erections? No, no. We, we did uh, that's true or the, false. That's yeah. true or false. Did, it's <laughs> true or false trivia too. We did. You have a good chance. Baseball radio. Baseball, I don't even know that much about oh baseball. It's baseball God. and radio. What are you? Somebody's <laughs> Grandpa it's showed up in Hourglass. The trivia. Baseball, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> baseball radio. It's themed Hi. 1920s ghost. <laughs> <laughs> baseball radio. Uh, we got scooters, West Highland Terriers. That's someone, not all I'm into. Uh, pornography. Peloton. Pornography. No, I, I forgot oh. to mention porn. Oh, heavy. You got to go. At least 75% of the knowledge I have in my brain is all pornography based. What's his favorite genre? We all know. Yeah. Don't say it. You, I know. <laughs> you Save know. that for the show. Yeah, do you know? Save that for trivia. Do you know? Does everybody any raise I your know. hand? You think you know my favorite well, category of pornography? No, I won't. Okay. We're, you do. Okay. <laughs> Is that right. sad when right. our sponsor knows? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, listens, he listens. He shows that he's it's engaged. It's massage. Engaged. Oh, it's, yeah. you gave him a freebie. You got it. Um, you got it. Hourglass is here. How are you guys doing? Hey. Oh my God. Perfect so time. Tell us about <laughs> on the couch. Yeah. Tell us about uh, what's uh, in this pale ale. Oh, where's the uh, list? Go I don't ahead, know. Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients include. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Hold on. I can't read it. Oh, I, got it. I, got it. I, got it. I can do this. Okay. Scootin' and tootin'. Dry hopped pale ale with Zappa and Raku. Racau. 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 What's a Racau? Is it just type of hop? Yes. Uh, um, Racau <laughs> hops. So, um, in like in a, in a regular pale ale. No, I'm going to try You this. know, the I'm first gonna craft beer I ever had was a pale ale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The very first one. It's uh, I feel like anybody who enjoys IPAs enjoys oh, pale ale. You're yeah. drinking. Oh, I'm gonna right. drink it too. God damn it! <laughs> oh, it smells so fresh. Yeah. Oh, I love fresh. When beer was too. this canned, Brett? It was actually Friday. Friday. Oh my god, I love it when it. And you can Friday. always smell when it's brand new. It's a, yeah. Like it's like, oh my god, it's nothing like it. Oh, it's gonna change my that's mood. That's probably why I don't know what's it. in it because we just made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Now, pet, let's talk pale ales for a little bit. That's good. Um, I went through my beer journey. I started, I think, one of the first uh, craft beers I ever had was a Sierra Nevada pale ale. That was one of my entry beers, right? And then I went on this journey where I was, like, uh, thirsting for the hoppiest of hoppy beers I could ever get. Basically, hop juice, the squeezins of a hop right onto my tongue. And then I noticed that as the years went on and 20 years later after doing this, this craft beer experiment, I have landed on my favorite beer being pale ale yeah do most people do that kind of i like, think they, they might go down that hole for a yeah. while and then come back when, when you get started into really big ipas and all that the enamel ripping off your teeth is yes. going to affect it and then your dentist will be like you need to quit drinking beer no <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like oh. some of them you can like look on the glass and yeah. you, there's like a you know the way it clings to the side you're like holy moly it is a good is... introductory to a beer though yeah i just think it's like as far as like hoppy beers go like i always i mean i go to a brewery if it's, especially if it's a new brewery i go Let's try the pale ale. Can't go wrong. Let's yeah. go there and see. Usually you can't go wrong. Well, I've <laughs> I've also noticed, and obviously not you guys, but I've been, let's just say I was in Georgia with the family, and we're in the mountains, and we stopped by a little brewery that didn't really have great ratings or anything, but I tried their pale ale, and they didn't do it well, so I didn't try anything else. It's good you said out of the state. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was definitely out of, we have good beer in Florida, man. We've come we up. Like. What? Uh, we're very, very. I'm very proud of just the breweries we have around here. It just dawned on me, like we're cause we're doing this trivia competition on Saturday as part of the beer release, yeah. and we've got you uh, put some, beer trivia in there. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I, I, uh, Curtis Earth, he he curated a list of like I said, it's all going to be Daniel themed. Um, but what got me thinking, I was like, what could like 
people could put a Bluetooth headphone in or some sort of earpiece. Oh, I get really and, and they like, cheat, like, right? Like, like, you really? I mean, technically, yes. I guess you, you could. Think but my God, this, man, this event is so sophisticated that you think our uh, people. You think there's somewhere right now somebody is wiring a suit? <laughs> no, like, not wiring a suit. He's like, gonna text and, right now. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the night before Curtis like writes the question. You think somebody's like literally taping wires <laughs> to their breast, yes. running oh. them down there? Like if they find me, you know they'll if and kill me. Me. Uh, or like l- use your uh, like Apple Watch to look up the. It's not uh, fast uh, enough. The, the, well, couldn't it uh, listen to the questions or like I guess you could uh, text the questions and in, into your watch, right? I and mean, I guess you, you could. I mean, I don't think it's going to be quick enough. I think he just wants to get patted down. Is what <laughs> <it is. laughs> no, are, you call, are you calling our <laughs> listeners cheaters? No, no. I'm, uh, does that happen in trivia? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure oh, it does. God. Right. Yeah. Uh, let me introduce you to my father-in-law. Who <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, cheats at all trivia? <laughs> Smoky oh, bones. Really? <laughs> Smokey Bones. No, he wants his, that beer tab. Not his Smokey Bones. It's embarrassing. Sam. Anywhere but the Would, bones. Did he just look it up on his phone? Oh, yeah. Not he puts, at the bones. He, he puts the menu up. No. And then he <laughs> Googles the answer. No, he does not. <laughs> but yes, it, he does. That is a fact. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have to sit there watching Cheater. it? Yeah. I can't even go to the bathroom. I'd distance myself. I couldn't <laughs> sit there. I'd have to ask for a separate table. Last time I ever went to Smokey Bones. Not at Smokey and Bones. Then, when he so wins. Get caught. That's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, when he wins. It is embarrassing. Does he take credit? He's like, yes. And pump his face. In your face! Yeah, like, I'm the king of the bones! It was so bad that he also tried to pretend like we didn't notice he was cheating, so he tried to pretend he came up with the answer on his own. It was <laughs> oh, oh, that's <laughs> extra embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he doubled down? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, that's even, because I got It's understand. a mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, you know, I've come full, full circle on this to the point where now I want to watch it. Now I want to be a part of it. Well, I like... It wasn't <laughs> slick at all. <laughs> I like looking up the answers, then taking full yeah, credit for it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, I know this. But and then, it was clearly like a, it was a song question that he yeah. absolutely had no idea. <laughs> It'd literally be like me playing Microsoft Flight Simulator and letting the computer take off and land the entire thing for yeah. hours and then going, yeah, <laughs> did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did. Or you, you did nothing. In fact, he's doing more. Yeah, you're like putting. At least he's having to look up the question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, uh, but, but there really is no stopping that kind of behavior. But that's but what we're all ble- becoming with all the new AI and chat GPT and all yeah, that. We're yeah. all just becoming good lookers, we're right? Just becoming cheaters on <laughs> yeah. Yeah. become yeah. better cheaters yeah. yeah you don't need to know anything you just yeah, need yeah. to the know computer how to knows look for what you think you need to know yeah yeah but then that's like takes away all the credit from winning any sort of trivia right. because so, so yeah two months later when like this girl starts dating you because she thinks you're so smart right like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh you got me girls have never <laughs> dated guys because they're smart <laughs> i don't think what well, it's, it's rare it's like you remember that's rare. wasn't then they catch someone that like was in a marathon and then like took a cab to the finish line or like that cheated in something. Okay, I'm glad you brought that up. Right. I'm gonna bring up something in front of our client, in front of our good friends at Hourglass, and don't get mad at me, but I've been seeing <laughs> all of the different commercials on the Facebook, and you mentioned Marathon, and have you seen the exoskeleton that you can buy, that you wear, and it's a rechargeable, and it's like a fake body. What do you and mean? It, it makes, it, it offsets like 40%, like it'll make me 40% stronger. It'll make me forty percent faster. Like you put on this rechargeable, so, so like is this 50%. like USB <laughs> battery thing? Is it like mechanical? Yeah, it goes around your waist and it goes under your knees, so it's like it's holding you up. And oh, it okay. Uses, so you don't have to use as much no, muscle. No, and it here. makes you superhuman. And I've been wanting one. <laughs> and I want to wear it to Hourglass. How much for does the it beer cost? Oh, thousands of dollars. <laughs> thousands. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll be able to do. I'll be able to. J- I'll jump high. <laughs> okay, I'll, like, I'll be like Spider Man. I'll be like Fat Spider Man. Little Fat Spider Man. It'll make drink better. It'll make me like. They have a Fat Spider Man in the Spider Verse. I see it every time. Well, do they have Little Fat Spider Man? Yes, I do. Every time. T Rex Spider Man. I could jump. Uh, like I could do. What do you need? You mean to carry a pallet of beer out? But how high can you it. jump? It, it, like, could you jump on top say of this I table? Look up the exoskeleton. <laughs> yeah. Like, just jump on top. Uh, okay, it's not up. Uh, it's not obs- obscene, but I'm five two. I can yeah. run and I can jump and blast through the drop ceiling <laughs> no and grab on no and way. grab on. Yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. screw yourself up. You'll. 
No, 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 I'm already just no, like a shameless thing to get the money from the listeners. Let me buy an exoskeleton to wear the hourglass. You can't jump to the top. Yeah, it would blast me through. No, it's kinetic technology. It's kinetic technology. It offsets the energy. It offsets the weight. It's all fulcrums and it's got a battery in it. Yeah, but it just it makes you like 15 percent. No, it makes you run faster. It makes you walk. Like when you walk, you look like you're gliding. You look like you're gliding. Like like you're fly. Yeah, it's crazy. No way. Like, do you feel okay the next day? Yeah, yeah, because you're not using your muscles. It's just robotic. Yeah, it's just your you are not just your legs. For, for right now. Okay. For right now, it's just your legs. <laughs> I like knew you would say that. Megazord from Power Rangers. Yeah, it goes around yeah, your it's leg. A full body. There's a full body one. Is it I like a robot that. suit? I, no, well, it's just an exoskeleton. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just on the exterior. It's not like an Iron Man. Don't think Iron Man. You yeah, got to think yeah, yeah, more yeah. like just something. Like think back brace at uh, Home Depot. Right, I th- I've it seen looks this like a back brace at Home Depot, so and you he's put that start on. Wearing jinkos with them is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I already wear jinkos every day. You just caught me on Casual Monday, but I put but you, the. You have to practice. You like using I'm gonna it. Practice. Right? Like, I've got five days. No, but no. <laughs> the ones, this is Tom Van talking. Yeah, You're supposed to support one. me. <laughs> but I was like, like, could you instantly get in it, and all of a sudden it'd be intuitive movement, see, and you start think, running fast? Because you, you know, this isn't the one, Sam. No. But this is one. This is one. There's different competitors. It's a race. It's a race. It's a technology race. Because remember, well, who was the guy? Uh, Pistorius. Uh, oh, they, Bladefoot. They, <laughs> yeah. Remember they, Bladefoot shot his girlfriend. Yeah. He. No, I don't. Like, <laughs> you ever been to Bladefoot? No, no, you you know, know, oh my God. Oh, South Africa. Africa. We'll talk get, later. Hang out and drink more beer here. You'd learn about Bladefoot. Killed his shot, girlfriend. Shot his girlfriend yeah. pooping in the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. She was pooping. Yeah. The worst she way was, to get yeah, shot. It's yeah, really. Yeah. It's really. Yeah. He did the Game of Thrones. No crossbow, though. Man, what kind of a POS is yeah. like you? Are you there pooping? <laughs> no, you're just I'm Bladefoot. I'm going to shoot you. Shoot through the door. Yeah. Like, my God. Um, anyway, also, I don't know if I'd hit, like, if I, through your bathroom door, if you think you pointed at something, like, like I'm going to point at the person sitting on the toilet. No, and, no, I'm going to point like, towards the shower. I'm like, going to try to shoot a hole in the shower. How, how accurate do you think you'd, like, if there was someone sitting on the toilet? Do I know the layout of the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. William, in your own bathroom. Oh, I'm the dead shot. <laughs> really? Like, you know the exact... Headshot, every, headshot like every time. Is a way to get away with it? Like, I didn't know. <laughs> no, no, like, I can... Well, like, that's what he's trying to say. Know, he said it was an intruder, oh, but I everybody's use, like, you're I lying. I use the restroom so much that yeah. I know the makeup of our bathroom so well that, yeah, headshot every time. Um, let's go back to cheating and trivia. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, if you catch someone as another team cheating, then... You have to pull their shirt over their head, <laughs> and you start hockey whipping them. You have to start hockey punching like, them. Do you just report it to Curtis Earth, yeah. and does he... Don't, don't report. Expel no, you, you from the competition? No, you gotta handle it yourself. Vigilant, I support vigilante, because <laughs> no, if you tell on. Curtis, you're, you're a P-word. I don't know. Right? What. If you walk, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Yeah, Earth, like, Mr. Earth. Like, you know, because we're all adults, and, like, <laughs> it's up for fun. Daniel did order a first place trophy. Uh, like, you want to go get it? You know what? I never asked you how much that was. <laughs> it's now pure I'm gold. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go? Because you engraved $70. the bottom. It was $70. <laughs> $70. Oh, my God. Go get it. Go get I it. I knew I shouldn't oh, ask Daniel to order it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm cheating, then, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, it's a gold. It's metal. It's a metal gold. It looks like a metal. America's oh cup. My <laughs> yeah, it looks like America's yeah, wow, cup. Wow, it has a yeah, weight to yeah, it. Yeah, it's a, it's, you could drink out of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted him to be able to drink well, beer out of it. You got a placard on the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like $70? Oh, yeah. No, I told you, you order the cheapest <laughs> Bobo you could find. Yeah, but the shipping was killing me on there. So I was just like, ah, just, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. So anyway. I got the two tone. Silver on gold. So, of course, yeah, we got a first place trophy. Yeah, heavy. And everybody's going to want to win. But if you. You could throw that at your girlfriend while she's pooping and kill her on the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> if that's so if heavy. you know where she's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> if you know the layout of your bathroom. Thank you. So, you know what? Thank, I'm glad there's a person of okay, reason here. I want to put myself in someone else's shoes where yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm at my. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I listen to this that's podcast. Called cuckold. They have. A, <laughs> come on. I have a uh, beer release. I'm going there. You know, it's a free event. Event, I tell the wife uh, the this beer is delicious. By the way, I'm getting I'm yeah, getting, yeah, not, I'm getting high or what do you call it? Buzz. I'm getting buzz. <laughs> the uh, and then you go and um, you, you know, everybody's having a good time. You see everybody. You sit down. It, you know, it's a free event. It's all for fun. 
and then you're sitting there, you're doing trivia, you look up, and then you see Mike B. Oh, uh, he's I knew just, it. And, he, I knew it. and he's he's yeah. doing the old he's menu. The, he's got all yeah. the answers yeah. rolled up, and he slid it through his nose ball. ring. Yeah. His whole nose <laughs> ring is all the answers. And he answer. just looks down. Yeah, and, he just looks at the tip of and, his nose. And you just so happen to be sitting at the perfect Who angle. Who is Daniel's favorite porn star? <laughs> Mike B. I oh, you know that's Christy Canyon. But, so, I, so you're saying it's going to diminish Hourglass? Is what you're saying? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying what would I do? Because do I say excuse? No, you gotta do that move. This person you don't cheating. Want cheaters in there. Yeah, okay, but so no, I'm you... also a grown man, and we're just here for fun. Okay. Do, do I report the cheating? You do, or... but you do. You, you scream cheater! No, I think you do. It on your... No, you can't be that loud. Awkward. You gotta do it like you were in a hostage situation. You gotta look around and then look at the person next to you and go, "Hey, hey." <laughs> I'm anti-cheater. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go get him on the count of three. I'm gonna tackle <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. him, but and I'm gonna Goldberg it. spear him. <laughs> the point break. Yeah, <laughs> where you got the yeah, yeah. Uh, the 38 yeah, tucked in you, your sock. Yeah, and then just hold and like, up. I'm your, a detective. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and then the person's like, I oh, take don't do anything way too seriously, <laughs> because I would feel corny. Like making a big deal about it you because text Curtis. Oh, they're gonna tell the bartender, hundred percent. They're gonna be like, "Hey, can you tell that guy to stop?" Oh. And I'm gonna be like, "What are you gonna do about it?" And I'm gonna be like, "Can you tell that guy to stop?" <laughs> <laughs> you could text like Curtis. Oh, that's the way no, it should I, be well, done. I don't have. You're not supposed to have your phone out though. Yeah, there should be a number. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Be yeah a my phone. Yeah, you got a live streaming on the TV, and that's what you do. You see all the texts. Yeah, yeah. Like, the through. guy over in the seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get to see it on the scroll. <laughs> like I'm sure. Second table. CP. You know, <laughs> we need to talk to Curtis, and because I'm sure this happens oh, yeah. at, uh, that people report Curtis him is a like pretty this. Pretty big dude, though. This, I mean, this... I don't think anybody tries that guy. He's like six hundred, right? No, no, but nine or something. Some some team tells like Curtis, like, hey, this team was cheating the whole time and then Curtis has to be like ha- he pulls out a gun no no please <laughs> I mean, what does he do if there's no I think evidence kicks you out yeah but what if it's just uh, like, oh uh, now we're gonna, gonna have a goddamn saying. trial for this <laughs> well, trivia know. you know if there's anything I've learned from watching you know uh, On Patrol Live and any of the you know, news lately or YouTube or World Star or TikTok mm. is World that Star. when you go to kick people out they're really cool about it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. everyone complies but that's they're the like thing. yes oh, I was cheating got me alright bye like, you know? <laughs> because like <laughs> does that happen Daniel, does you, that happen hold on you used to do trivia right remember yeah, back in the day Belly Brewery downtown. I hosted the legitimate. Okay, I'm. I've never told this. I'm gonna tell it now. Mike Sands, who doesn't live here anymore, who worked at Mellow Mushroom for years, and also instrumental in getting me into craft beer. It's one of the reasons why I love Hourglass yeah. is because of these guys. My Mellow family were the guys that really got me into all these different craft beers. He uh, gave me his entire had thousands of questions. I never looked up one question. Mike would just go, here's my <laughs> yeah. questions. Well, take them all. Did someone ever tell uh, you that like, oh, this person, this team cheated? Yeah, it does- but I didn't care. Oh, okay, all right. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, I'm not gonna play anymore. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, 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 and they're okay. like, well, I'm leaving. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah but like, Curtis takes it serious. Yeah, he yeah, actually no, does she, care. I know. <laughs> we'll call the station and tell your boss. I'm like, I don't care. But what if it, what if it's just someone saying and there's no proof to Curtis. Like, Curtis, then, what, is he supposed to take the uh, one team's word well, for it? Well, then he has it? to go to trivia court. Oh, yeah. He has to sit there and he has to hear both sides. Dun, dun. And then he has to see, he has to make a decision. I, or does he kick <laughs> them both out because they can't play nice? If, if they... Fight to the death. Well, Ooh, I like that. I feel like this is like a, a second part to a party you're having at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Can I well, pick a challenger in my steed? The, I guess... If I don't want to fight. Should we have somebody on cheat patrol? Yeah. Like, so who's the tallest person? We know. We need EJ. someone tall to get up. And he's he's big and dumb. Yeah. <laughs> He'll push people around. No, I mean, do you need that? I mean, we're all like I said, not with adults. our guys. Not with our guys. Yeah, yeah. no not one's gonna cheat. Guys. Exactly, we're all adults. We need I don't that. know. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you just can't pull out your phone when you're playing trivia. That's the rule, right? And then if you do, it's kind of like when you're playing poker, you have to leave. But yeah, I wouldn't even. You can't even leave to the bathroom, right? Because then you could look up the yeah, answers. I mean, you're you're in the phone, you're leave your phone face <laughs> down mean, on the table. Yeah, but you're at, a, at the tables. <laughs> you're, <laughs> yeah, you're at a brewery. <laughs> we gotta get a bucket. <laughs> yeah, we need diapers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we hand out diapers. Yeah, it's two Tom and good little diaper daddy. <laughs> yeah. Diaper. It does trivia. tie in. <laughs> diaper trivia. Would you well, guys do it in the parking uh, lot only? It has to be in the parking lot because there's like, accidents. People are like, I don't even care. Yeah, it's just like I wasn't going to cheat. Put your diaper on. Put your diaper on, you piece of. And Daniel has to watch you in the bathroom. <laughs> you have to underwear watch everybody. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Look me in put the your eyes. underwear you on. You can't put it, sir. Sir, I'm going to ask you, you cannot put it over your sweatpants. I have to ask you to leave. <laughs> anyway, scooting and tooting. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Um, thank you to uh, Hourglass. Man, we appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you. This made my morning beer. better. <laughs> like I was uh, now I'm buzzed. I feel ah, great. God, it's delicious. Uh, you know what's funny is that like I, if you're a craft beer guy like like I was, and then you know everybody enjoys a good seltzer now and again. But then I went heavily seltzer. But then I swung back hard to beer. Yeah, and yeah. after you take a break, when you get back into beer again, you're like, oh my god, beer so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all beer it's now. The flavor. I'm not. I haven't had a seltzer in. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, when. I laid off I'm, the seltzer. I'm too. all beer now, and I. I'm I'm glad to be back. So yeah. delicious. It's someone doing a whole day of yard work or not, but yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> that's true. Because they all have their place. Yeah. You know, like that's why, you know, I like a lot of garage beers, but I'm gonna tell you right now, like this one, as far as flavor goes, this is extremely approachable. Uh, Eric, Easy. Eric will be out there selling some merch. We made some scooting and to- tooting t shirts. Super limited, um, I guess, too. Pabone's gonna be out there selling some of his art. Yeah. He is. I love that guy. He's so nice. Yeah, he's, he is. We have all your greatest. glassware too. Yep. Oh, oh nice. And awesome. then, yeah. so you can grab a free uh pint glass. Yeah, come on uh, by and and make sure you mention it, and yep. uh, and then you guys still have tons of art yep. everywhere. I think we're out of stickers, so we still have some of the posters, and then we have a ton of glassware. And I think I'm just going to serve everything in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Keep and it. well, we love you guys. <laughs> this uh, is uh, how it, many different pinball machines do you guys have? Ooh, ten ish, eight, ten or eight. Eleven. Do Do you <laughs> have? <laughs> and then some stand up arcade uh, games as well. Got three. And okay. then we had the uh, duck machine, the duck machine, and the uh, miniature putt putt machine too. And darts. Right, and darts. Right, miniature right. putt putt. Yeah, that's new. You haven't I, seen that yet. I you haven't can bowl. Seen that. Uh, yeah. You can putt putt. Is that one of those? Does it do? It, a digital does yeah, everything. Yeah, it's the, the, uh, the Those rolly. are great. Yes, yeah. those you, are you'll fa- get stuck on this for a while. <laughs> All right. I have always wanted, like when I was a child and young adult. The richest people I knew would have a golden tea or some sort of digital monstrosity that did a lot of cool things in their house. I'm not talking about a, yeah, an yeah, Xbox yeah, yeah. X. I'm not. I'm not. No. Yeah, yeah. It's a stand up. I want. Some, it's got to weigh like 600, 700 pounds. <laughs> yeah, 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 when it yeah, breaks, yeah. you have a whole team coming. Yes, in. Yeah, it's got to have an old <laughs> man that has to I'm come rich on it. Yeah, I like, want one I for want, the air I, I Something's happening with all this time. I've been wrenching on the scooter is aging me rapidly, like uh, reverse Benjamin Button. I'm becoming a really <laughs> old man, and I'm getting into really old man stuff, like working on old pinball machines and stand up, like big yeah, heavy yeah, yeah, machinery. Yeah. Um, all right, we uh, we'll see you guys on Saturday yes, sir. again, uh, June tenth at Hourglass in Longwood. Yes, Longwood location. That's the location. And get there around five. Like yep. I said, sign up for trivia around five thirty, and uh, we're going to be doing. We're also me, Daniel, and Sam are going to be on the mics, um, kind of joking around while uh, Curtis uh, hosts the trivia yeah, yeah. too. Kind of like we're doing the show like Mac- trivia with annoyances. <laughs> <laughs> There's maybe a reason why <laughs> this isn't a I thank know, you. I, I was thinking I, about In that. my head, I think, yeah. I was like, well, Curtis asked the question. Like, and we'll can joke you just around. say the question again? Dan's <laughs> trying to be funny. It is not. It's not uh, funny. Yeah, we, we could joke around about the question. I guess we can't answer it. Uh, no, I can no. <laughs> I, I can answer it. He's in the bathroom on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, answer is. Tom, you're not going to know any answers anyway. I'm going to have my phone up uh, videoing everybody to see if people are on their phone. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will be right back. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Great job, y'all. That was super fun. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. And this beer is great. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I haven't had one yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I will pour beer in that for you on Saturday. <laughs> oh, 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 into yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever yeah. wants to drink out of their, I will be there. Into their, out of their <laughs> chalice. Awesome. Yeah, very much looking forward to it. Very yeah. nice meeting yeah. you. Yeah. Is that for us? No, those yeah. aren't for us. Oh, they are? For you. Oh, my God. I'll eat those. Those are the best. I wouldn't bring you I I love trolleys. Thank have you. you ever had the eggs? I never have, but my daughter loves the, um, Those ones are the one of the ones. They're like zap worms or something. They're like the, neon. The first thing ones are just regulars. They're regulars. Oh, yeah. But they rolled in some sort of weird sugar or something. Oh, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like the harder ones. Yeah. Those are similar but smaller. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. That's really nice of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd this yeah. go, Sam? Monday one. Monday one. Just us. It is Dom from the supervillain's birthday today. Oh. I'll message him happy birthday. So go do that and then like it's just gonna be pretty cool with him. I feel like if the trivia works out well and people enjoy it, then it'll be even more cool for the Cool. 
See you guys. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. All right. I'm going to knock out our second yep. segment. We need 18. All right. You want to do voicemails, emails? See you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Play. All right. Um, Samantha, do you have emails? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with emails, and I can bring us back. Here we go. See you, man. <clears throat> Here we go. Three, two. Welcome back to a corporate time. Let's do some emails. All right, hold on one second. Hold on. Come over a couple. Let me hit little buttons. I'll have to wash my hands after this. I got a lot of doo doo. Yeah, a lot oh, of lizard doo doo oh, all yeah. over these. Hey, let's talk about that for a second. Uh, if we're going to continue to do emails, we're going to need to work harder at transitioning Luca out of the email basket because he is poop crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I put the food. He didn't eat any mealworms in his uh, habitat. Interesting. Which, um, and then I tried to feed him a mealworm this morning. and uh, he Where'd he go? He went behind the couch. Yeah, uh, the couch but I put a mealworm in front of his face, and usually oh, he's quick he's to blind. eat it. Uh, it's on a hunger with, strike. Now we're dealing with a uh, uh, blind uh, lizard. <laughs> so something's up with it. Uh, I don't know. I mean... You know, I guess statistically, it these lizards uh, who they could have been an old yeah. man. It's day lizard, to day, yeah. right? I mean, <laughs> like, every I no day is touch and go for him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, I imagine they any minute could be death. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like this, when I found him, he's this an morning, Italian grace of lizards. We <laughs> yeah. don't know how old he is. I know. Yeah, he, this sometimes lizard, he's little. Sometimes he's big. Could be an old man. Yeah, it could know. be an old man. Could and, be a young man. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. adopted him from the Ukraine. They said he was six. <laughs> I took him on his word. I gave him his first bath. Full pubic hair. <laughs> full pubic hair. First email. Okay. Uh, hi, guys. I just updated my credit card info and decided to up my love meter from naughty to the top level. What? All right. Oh, hey, thanks. You guys have been awesome over the years, but what put it to the top level- What about now? But what put it to the top <laughs> level was sharing the BDM feed so I can get it on my Apple Podcasts. So much more convenient. Don't I also tell, <laughs> don't tell people. I also switched to yearly billing to hopefully save you guys some credit card charges as long as Tom can budget the money. This guy gets it. Love all you guys. BDM for life. Happy birthday, Daniel. Hey, man, this right. guy. We need more guys like that. Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah, that guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, see that. He's uh, our he, listener he, of the week. Yeah. <laughs> What's his Does name? Does that matter? Listener of the uh, week. Does that yeah, matter yeah, to yeah. people Dave. anymore? Dave. 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 Listener Dave. of the Brown. week. Dave. It's Dave Brown, right? Yep. Yeah. All old right. Dave Brown. Never had a frown. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, we are a small business here We're in Central Florida. We're a small, Florida. humble business. And uh, that all, you know, yeah. it, it all helps. Everybody we appreciate, appreciate any time you listen to our handcrafted comedy. Uh, we Nobody does more for the environment. Okay. Uh, yeah, nobody yeah, like does that. more for the community. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody that. does more for the gays and gay adjacent. Yep, yep. Nobody does more for minorities. Yep. And nobody... Hmm. Beats our prices. <laughs> okay, <laughs> our right, low prices. Yeah, yeah, nobody yeah, beats yeah. Our, and nobody Mention beats, the low prices. Yeah, and nobody beats our low prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the quality. Yeah, and the quality. <laughs> uh, Top uh, American our, made. Hourglass got me drunk. Scream American <laughs> made. Um, Next email? Yeah. Yes, please. Hey, so Tom said that the DMV can see that the trailer is registered to someone else. So the registration is in the system. So he can have a police officer run the plate. It will come up with the current registered owner and should have the VIN on the registration record in the computer. Then he writes that number down and he has the VIN he needs. This guy no. called too. Here, here's this guy. No. Same guy here. You don't understand how it works. <laughs> this is a message for Tom. <laughs> hey, Tom, all you got to do with this trailer, have a cop run the current plate. It will come back on his computer with all the information, who the registered owner is, and it should have the VIN right there on the registration. You write that VIN down, and then you take that to the DMV and say, here's the VIN. Problem solved. 
Is that no. Manny Manny wet mouth? Yeah, 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 I don't know. We got a it's lot a little, of wet mouth. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I, a little, he's a little wet. I showed the DMV the plate, and they sh- they told me this plate is no longer registered to anything anymore. Oh. Because your trailer, the, it was registered to this VIN, right? The VIN that I had it registered under. And you're like, that VIN is now registered under someone else's name. Yeah. So we can, and then that's it. So, so do you the plate remember doesn't, where you got that VIN? It was from one the guy I bought it from. Okay. So he gave me the registration with the with the plate with the trailer yeah. that I registered him. So and then someone in Broward County registered that VIN under their name now. So it's and now the only way to get it back is to have a, a police officer or the DMV confirm the VIN number on my trailer. Then they put it back, but there is no VIN there number no on the VIN. trailer. So, so yeah. at this point, the, it doesn't matter. It's an that infinity it, loop of terrible. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was looking it up this morning, and um, and it, it even, it, everybody's like, oh, yeah, just get a you homemade trailer. You know the listeners think I'm never going to get my scooter done, and you're never going to get your no, trailer yeah. done. Yeah. Of you course that, that's right? going to happen. You I know. know they think we're both idiots. And it's... It, no, I know. They're right. <laughs> yeah, they they might be. They might be right. But it's so the, the problem is the ultimate problem is there is no visible stamped in no no VIN number identification number on the trailer. Who cares if my old my license plate is not registered yeah. under anything it anymore? Matter anything. It used to be under. I have the old VIN number, but it's not on the trailer, right. so it's just a ghost VIN number. Oh, that, someone gave you a fake VIN. I think no. I think the guy actually thought you know it could have been the VIN number to this trailer, and the and the sticker wore off, or I don't know, like it got worn out yeah. or whatever. But now it's because it's registered under someone else. Now it's my. Uh, prove like is my burden to yeah. prove that Correct. it and because there's no VIN on the actual trailer, then I'm screwed. Yeah. Now, now it's just a ghost trailer. The chat that- says, "Please stop yelling. We're just trying to help." Okay. Next email. How many mad. drug commercials are there? Hello. Since Dan, you are really one of the last to talk about commercials. How many drug commercials on TV do you see? How many can you name? For an example, Sky Rizzy, still the best drug name. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I saw at least six different drug commercials. Hole while watching Game Seven, Miami versus Boston. Hope all is well. Yeah, I was watching that game too. Yeah, there are a lot of um, drug. There are a lot people like drugs. Well, <laughs> well, like drugs. well, they need them, especially on sports, and they know that it's a captive audience. So you've got probably your most lucrative companies advertising. Yeah, yeah. Which are drug companies. Sky Rizzy is one. I've seen the one for. Um, it, it must be so inexpensive to like produce these chemicals and stamp them into pills and sell them for mm, an like astronomical, astronomical you know, like, profit. And if you need them for your psoriasis or whatever problem you yeah. have, you're paying. That's the one I see a lot. The but, psoriasis one where the people are jumping. Yeah, yeah. High blood pressure. All these oh, other pills. Oh, that's Sky Rizzy, right? The one. Everything yeah, psoriasis. is everything. So you're paying, you know, 40 bucks a month or whatever. Whatever it yeah. is for your medication for life, I'm at, and then your and those pills cost cents <laughs> to produce, yeah. like to stamp some chemical yeah, there's, into there's a, a lot. The other a ones tablet. I see, the other ones I see are occasionally kid products, um, but like a, for the most part, most of that the commercial stuffs yeah. on the internet. I don't think they have massive television commercial uh, budgets. I think they produce things for the internet, and then they take those commercials and then put them on TV. I think TV is secondary now. You know, and like that's just my opinion. I be- I think in like the UK, you're, it's illegal to uh, advertise pharmaceutical drugs on the television. Yeah, they have a, like, they're a lot tighter. They, they, there are rules against it. So and their when, FDA is a lot tighter on like, people, what you can eat. When people from other countries come to our country and watch and see these commercials, they're, it blows their mind yeah. that we live in a country that we just have- They push drugs on drug everyone. companies yeah. just advertising. Because again- it's so lucrative of a business mm-hmm. because once you're on them, they get you hooked, you know, whatever it is. Uh, yeah. and, and like, you don't want psoriasis anymore. So you, take this <laughs> so and then make it better. It. Um, I got a couple of voicemails crazy. we can mix in here too. Here's one from, we haven't heard uh, from this guy. I think, I think a lot of people saying that he calls too much kind of hurt his feelings, but um, oh. from Zach, Zach from Ohio checking in. Hey gang, it's Zach from Ohio. I've never had eggnog and I don't know what it tastes like. But I'm assuming that it's not that great because you can only get it for like a month out of the year. Beautiful birds. Um, do you get anybody here like eggnog? I've only had it once and it had brandy in it and I was not a fan. Yeah, I'm, I think it tastes disgusting. My wife loves it. My wife 
It's like it tastes to her. It tastes like a, almost like a like a creamy, sugary milkshake or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I think it's uh, disgusting. It's like as if a your McDonald's milkshake melted, and then that consistency. Uh, there's yep. like a it's a cream it's like vanilla Does nut it taste vanilla. Like eggs? Cre- um, no, no, it tastes like nutmeg vanilla. It and then you just like, put rum in it, and then, yeah. uh, like, mm. I've had the Coquito. Yeah, which I've had is that. That's delicious. Essentially, I don't like any, I don't like same milk. consistency as I eggnog, like, okay, right? like milk drinks, right? Let's take, and this milkshake? Is, again, this is just me. I'll take a milkshake. I'll do milk and milkshake. That's as far as I go. Uh, white Russian, no thank you. Coquito, yeah, yeah. no thank you. Any form of Latin, Venezuela has a like form. Like a mudslide. No, no thank you. Puerto Rico, Venezuela, uh, Colom- Colombia, Guatemala, well, they all have their variation of milk with hard rum or some sort of brown drink in it. And yeah. I'm here to tell mm-hmm. you, there's well, a thousand other drinks I'd rather have. When you drink the Coquito and you're like, ooh, I, because I drank it one time like for Christmas Eve. Part and then I drink oh it. I'm like, God. ooh, it, it makes my the body yeah. feel it makes warm. my tummy warm. <clears throat> and but I'm just talking about the rum, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? Like I don't need. It's like having THC infused like gummy bears. Uh, I don't need that. Just yeah, give me the THC. chocolate. Yeah. You know, it's like I you just give me the straight THC. Like yeah. that's what I want. I or I can have chocolate if I want, but I want the THC. That's what's making yeah. me feel like, good. I'll I want the it. rum. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't you. need the milk. I will do a shot of rum. Because I like the taste of sugary sugar cane mm. rum. And that'll make my belly yeah. feel warm. And then I'll feel and like I, a pirate. But then I never I, drink milk and be like, ooh, my belly feels this warm. This needs some liquor in it to the mm-hmm. milk. It's mm-hmm. weird. Um, last email. Okay. Or next, rather. Sorry. Uh, I'm last. starting to think Thomas Van comes from heartier stock than me after listening to his grandfather's tales of World War II. I had a military grandfather, too, but he froze his lungs in Alaska during the Korean War, came home, bought a house in Azalea Park, and proceeded to blow his thumb off while putting tar on his roof. (laughs) (laughs) Both his fault and lived to be almost 80. He stopped working and spent his days in his garage smoking cigarettes and watching old TV shows or on the golf course getting drunk. Or in the VFW getting drunk. Or going back to his sweet house to get drunk. He spent his remaining days scaling the walls of his retirement home and trying to escape in other clever fashions. He's been dead forever now. Weird dude. Do you guys remember the sweet smell of beer or gin or whatever when hugging or spending time around your ge- grandparents as kids? No, my p- grandparents weren't, weren't drinkers. My aunt was an alcoholic. My grandparents, um, they they would have a toddy. They mm. called it a toddy. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. But it was like, you know, like it, it was very interesting. My grandparents... Uh, on my fa- my grandparents on my mother's side did not drink at all. I didn't see it. And I was told that that's because my grandfather, when he got out of the service, was a little rambunctious with the booze. So he decided to put it away for good, right? Yeah. On my dad's side, uh, they, it, they had a very fancy Mad Men style approach to drinks they all had like luxurious bars with decanters and like little mobile bars that would fold open and then there'd be like little silver cups that little yeah, leather yeah. straps would hold in and my grandfather Bob, who owned a men's store he was like the consummate gentleman and he would take out like a a silver uh glass out of one of these mixing these mobile mixing bars and he'd put a couple cubes in and then maybe a jigger of whatever he was using and then he'd put his Sprite in there and like a lime and mix it up. Yeah, yeah. And it was very fancy. <clears throat> and he would take a, a lot. It was very gentlemanly. It was very Mad Men. He would take this, take his time. Yeah, to yeah. Kind Mixing of like, a cocktail. Yeah, thing. yeah. He was dressed to the nine. He'd have a full suit on while he was doing this. And I yeah, would yeah. watch it and I'd be like, what the hell is he doing over there? See, you know, I guess it all is like, are you enjoying some alcohol uh, responsibly or are you an alcoholic? <laughs> it just really comes down to that, you know. I remember, like, my grandfather always, uh, like, beer 30 or whatever. It was like, you know, he was always older in my mind, but he would have, like, a beer with his buddies. Like, they'd come to his house on his, a three-wheeler in Kissimmee or in yeah. St. Cloud, and then they they drink a beer or two at beer 30, but then that was it. I never saw yeah. him drunk. Right. I never saw him, like, fall down drunk right. or even they, slur. They have a beer, a couple beers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and I know he's, he must have done that when his younger age, but he never showed yeah. it to me. My or grandfather anything. would have one, maybe two, but <laughs> normally one. It'd be, like, one, and he had, like, like, a long spoon or, like, a stir, and he'd get it, and he'd sit there, and they, he'd always put, like, a napkin under it. It was very fancy. And then, like... It, and he like the napkin would be like folded and wrapped around like you would get it like 
like um, no different than any hipster bar here in town. Yeah, yeah. It would the napkin would be folded around it. He'd like tie it, and then it would like on a nice coaster. And then he'd sit there, and then he'd watch the news, or they'd talk, or they'd play cards. So yeah, it was like yeah, a yeah, different yeah. thing, man. Like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we don't. Like now, you get off work. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna drink like 18 beers, man. You Again, know, like it, this yeah, wasn't. Yeah. This, no. <laughs> yeah. So how you know? Are you drinking 18 yeah. and fall out drunk? Well, and, uh, there were those grandparents too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh this absolutely. Guy, when you know, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The, you, you, you know, someone has a problem or not, right? It's like. Uh, it, now I know there's a spectrum of drinking problems, but uh, I mean I'm drinking this hourglass beer. And it's like <laughs> 11:40. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, uh, how are you acting? How is this affecting your behavior, yeah. your life, and uh, are you exposing it to your kids? It was always or? interesting the culture around it, though, because like I can remember my father liked bourbon and coke, tall, uh, extra yeah. ice, and then my grandfather. I still remember what he liked. It was funny because I. I remember growing up, I wanted to mix the drinks. They never let me do it. You know, they were always, uh, they were never that trashy. Yeah, to yeah. say, like, I, go ahead. My parents would be like, I don't know, that's for adults. That's you know, one of my chores. <laughs> 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 I know, but they drew a line. You know, yeah. I got lucky. I did. I got lucky. When I was growing up, I, I'm, you know, I, I only have memories until ten. But uh, all my dads and my dad's friends drank beer only. I never yeah. saw them drink Liquor. anything else. Maybe my, my huh. dad used to drink water and ice like we used to have the old school. Oh, that's the old Tom Van that your boys don't know that you're drinking <laughs> yeah. when you really have white yeah. ball and ice. <laughs> hey, well, you, no, no. This your dad be, was doing it to you. <laughs> this it was vodka and soda. We never had hard liquor in the house. Like, that was one thing I never yeah. saw. See, we never had beer in the house. We, had, we, we only had bourbon. It was White Label Mabel's. Yeah. Uh, we were bourbon uh, only. Ahoy, that and, and Sunkiss. And wine. Wine for my mother. <laughs> Uh, Canadian mist and bush light. Yeah, oh, you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Cheap uh, though. Yeah, very cheap. Um. Anyway, let's uh, uh, let's do another voicemail. Yeah, let's do All one. right, let's try this one. Let's go with. Let's go with this one from uh, Canadian Josh. Tom, Dan, and Sam. It's Canadian Josh. Just listening to the episode where uh, Seth and Tracy made their big announcements. Congrats to them. That is great to hear. So happy for them. But Tom and Dan, the guys who rail against circumcision, don't get your kids circumcised. It's not natural. You guys are all in when it comes to getting a C-section. It's not even your body. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead. Just cut my wife's stomach open through her fat tissue, through her muscle tissue, leave a big scar on her stomach. That's a better way to go. But don't get circumcised. Get out of here. Love you guys. Josh, has it taken you this long to figure out that I don't even care? But also, there's two different things in my mind. I'm saying get, uh, you know, uh, the C-section for her own benefit. But it's not, though. It's a worse recovery. Well, it all depends. Uh, like, I don't my, know. I think the recovery for Andrea is pretty bad regardless. I mean, it was bad. And my, oh, it's not going to be good. Yeah, no, the but whole thing But statistically, it's worse for a woman that gets a C-section. I feel like the other way is worse. Just a You pure, can feel any way you want. No, that doesn't make it true. <laughs> my, my wife has told me I wish I ever gotten a C-section. Yeah, but she's never had one, so she doesn't have anything to compare it to. I know. Well, just the, her, the long-term... Of like, uh, sh- I mean, she's open with it. Uh, with like her jogging and like a little, t- 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 yeah, uh, yeah. little sprinkles. Yeah, sprinkles when Andrea there. sneezes and now, then- <laughs> she pit. She, yeah, I can't yeah, even say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, you she know, does well, sprinkles. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's more. Than, no, and the then sprinkle and would be would be. Crystal lying. tells me she's like, I think that's this is damage from this and uh, ha- this yeah. thing that I went through, and I'm yeah. like, of course it is. It's, it's like uh, Michael Jordan and carpal be? tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now there could be some long term uh, effects of the circumcision, uh, but or uh, sorry, the uh, C section. Um, but I don't know anything about that. You know what's uh, funny is that like C-section and circum- C- it, circumcision, like it's almost like the same thing. Like a C a C-scission is what a circumcision well, should be called. Well, one is a C-scission. It, the uh, you're you're taking away skin that was there and all for aesthetic reasons, right? Uh, like no, they, they, you know, I think they would make the uh, argument that you're making it easier to clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or that and... You know, I mean, there is the aesthetic, but you know, I think that... But in, in, in 2023, it's yeah. like uh, we, we're not living the Middle Ages where people's uh, having infections. I, or, I, is, it, is it really as easy as explaining that the sheath was there because clothing weren't factored in and we don't need that anymore because clothing is here? Is it that easy? Well... 
because the sh the the foreskin is a protect protection device, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a sheet yeah, 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 to yeah, protect yeah, 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 yeah. it. Yeah, I'm yeah. being super clinical here because, like, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. that that's a, the yeah, why we evolved yeah, to have that. It's yeah, like why animals it's it gets retracted now because you can't walk around without pants. I mean, you can, but you'll get arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't really need it now. So you know, I guess you could make the argument that since you don't need it anymore, and since it does aid in cleanliness and hygiene. That's yeah. the that's the other argument. But I guess you could say like, well, why not get your gallbladder taken out or whatever else you know I did. your and uh, it's, I, you know what sucks your appendix. Because I did get my gallbladder taken mm -hmm. out, and I had the same problems I had <laughs> when I had the gallbladder, so it didn't matter. Yeah. Well, there's they got you. The, but there's things that uh, our bodies don't need anymore that we evolved to right. have. You True. know, like you don't want to start taking out all that stuff. Anyway, take it all out. Take who it all out. cares? Do what you want. <laughs> 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 that's the big, do whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> whatever uh, you want. No one cares. No one cares. Do whatever you want. Anyway. Um, yep, we got to get out of here. Bye-bye. Awesome. All right. And are we going to do any more before lunch? Or? That is up to you two. Um, how much did we do for that Tuesday? We got 20 for segment three on Tuesday. Um. All right. It well, looks like we got our texting number back. No, oh, the same number? Uh, let me see. I'm reading it right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks like we got our number back. First text, 420. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, yes. You know, it's so hard not to want to do that. You're right. Do Let's that. do it in a way that, like, Let's, I don't let's even find a workaround. I don't even want to play around with it. I just want, I just want to say, hi, we got it back. We'll never take Four, care of it. F-O-R, <laughs> twin, <laughs> T-W-I-N. Oh, he's trying to get around it? though. N-N-T. T-E-A. <laughs> the whole, the, the, the entire. Four whole, twin T. The rest of the time we have this number, we just try to text 420. <laughs> we just a, fly close to the sun. Yeah, yeah. Four corns. <laughs> <laughs> emojis. All right. Are we doing any more? Are we? Um. Let's just. We don't need to. Let's let's okay. uh go to lunch early and then All we'll right. come back for the BDM show. So we'll Guys. be in the BDM group on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, 